Okay, so you're having breakfast, and maybe you're feeling a little sad because you were just hoping for a little chemistry to get the day off to a good start. Well, look no further than the back of the box. I mean, there's so much good stuff back here. There's calcium, iron, potassium, phosphorus, magnesium. There's like half the periodic table back here, along with some other vitamins, carbohydrates, proteins, and, and then this big one on the top, calories. But what is a calorie? The calorie is one of the units we use to measure heat or energy. And it was put, it was originally introduced back in the late 1700s, early 1800s, back when some people thought caloric was a chemical element and that when you heated something up, caloric went in and its temperature went up. And so you've added caloric or this element to uh, substances. By the time it was uh, originally defined, uh, a calorie was defined as the energy it takes to raise one gram of water one degree Celsius. So you gotta imagine a little milliliter of water raising it one degree Celsius, and that would be a calorie. Now I have here a thousand milliliters of water, which would be a thousand grams of water. And if I wanted to raise this from whatever temperature it is now up one degree, that would take a thousand calories or a kilocalorie. Just like any other unit, you can use metric prefixes with, you, with it as well, like kilo or milli. Raising this water one degree Celsius would take a kilocalorie or one kcal, which is actually the same unit that we use in our food nutrition. These calories up here are actually kilocalories. I know, confusing, right? So when it says 140 calories on my Cheerios box, it actually means 140,000 little calories. So 140 food calories would be enough energy to take 140 of these and raise them all by one degree Celsius. So I've got some achiote here. Uh, from Mexico. Got this little guy on there. He's quite nice. And I would use this for things like chicken tacos or something like that. Now, according to the uh, nutrition information on the label, uh, the serving size is 20 grams. Uh, but the energy here is in a in different unit. It's 155 kJ. Turns out we here in the U.S. are some of the last people on earth to use the unit of calories, which is kind of outdated. The actual metric unit of heat energy is the kilojoule, named after a guy named James Joule, uh, who was a brewer and he did a lot of cool experiments with machines and uh, measuring heat out of those machines. Um, a kilojoule is a thousand joules, and we have here 155 kilojoules. Now you'll see both of these units, and you'll need to be able to go from one to the other and convert between them. The package says 155 kilojoules, but also right next to it, it does say 37 kcals. So there it is in calories and kilojoules representing the same amount of heat. How are they related? Well, it turns out that 155 is exactly 4.18 times 37. Grab your calculator, check it out. So that's the conversion. If you have your kilocalories and you wanna make it kilojoules, you just multiply it by 4.184. If you have kilojoules and you want calories, just divide by 4.184. It's the same number every time. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, Mr. Rudolph, you still haven't actually showed us what a calorie is, and I'm probably gonna lose more sleep over it, so can you help me out? Well, I happen to know that a cashew contains about 10 calories. Let's see what that looks like. So when we eat food, we breathe in oxygen, which reacts with our food, and then we breathe out carbon dioxide and water which if you've been paying attention in chemistry class, you know is a combustion reaction. And that's what this is doing. You can bur burn food like this and the energy that's in that food, that 10 calories is all coming out as heat and in the same way as it would inside of me. So this right here is 10 food calories. Wow. All that's left of my burned up cashew. There's a lot of energy in there. 10 calories, down the hatch. 